everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're outside Odd Potter in Perrysburg, Ohio. Basically just outside Toledo. Here to do a crazy, crazy challenge. That's right. So we're talking an absolutely massive giant hot dog challenge with milkshakes. So this place is super cool. They have not only like, a, is it, in their own words, a glorified hot dog stand serving the most ridiculous, amazing looking milkshakes ever. But they have so many cool items on the menu. I'm super excited. Today what we're having is a mass amount of hot dogs. That's right. We're talking 12 of their fully, fully, fully dressed hot dogs. Each of these things weigh over half a pound. Then we're talking a couple of their crazy, crazy milkshakes. They all look really good. There's lots of different flavors. So anyway, yeah, I think we're going to have 40 minutes to complete this. Uh, if we do, we get the meal for free. And otherwise, I'll get you a price. I'll get you some more info. Let's tune on in. Let's head on in. Let's have some fun. And I'm excited. Beautiful day, beautiful weather, lots of people come on by, and hey, when in Ohio, gotta come to Oddfather. Everyone, so here we are with the food, looks absolutely delicious. So seriously, these are giant, 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 giant dogs. We have 12 of their different dogs in front of us. We have each three of the smokehouse, we have three of the traditional pretzel dog, we have three with the sauerkraut, and three which look absolutely delicious. Got their own family made kind of sloppy joe mix with cheese on top. I have some ketchup of course, you know I love ketchup. We also have some cheese sauce as well for the pretzel dog, should we like it, some mustard. But we also have two shakes. So I went with a lovely looking Reese shake. We literally have like a ice cream Reese thing on here, cookies, Reese cups, uh, Reese's pieces all throughout. And I also went with one of the most popular ones, the candy shop. So here we have everything like gumballs, ice cream cones, cupcakes, cotton candy. Very, very delicious looking. George himself also went with a Reese, uh, Reese cup or Reese milkshake and an Oreo one, which that looks delicious. Here, guys, see that one? Look at this. Look at this. Just look at it. It looks great. George, ready to get going? I'm ready when you are, man. All right, so how about we start? We'll say the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we're here at Odd Fodder in Perrysburg, Ohio. Um, so basically the Toledo area, and I will say this was a super, super cool event. I can't wait to uh, really get in and tell you all about it. Very delicious hot dog. A hot dog is something I definitely don't eat enough. So cheers. Shout out Ohio. Hot dogs. So not only are the staff here fantastic, not only was all the food excellent, um, being these hot dogs just absolutely delicious, um, and then not to mention the crazy looking milkshakes they have, but this place was such a cool event. Why? We had so many people show up to this event that literally, well, this part's a little unfortunate. They literally had to start turning people away, like legit. So we literally had over capacity here. There was just so, so, so many people that came on by. So it's to the like 90 or 100 people that came out. First off, thank you so much for coming by. This was a hell of a time. It was so fun. I'm glad I got to meet all of you. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And, uh, you know, ultimately, at that let's uh, kind of get in and talk a little bit more about uh, what we're actually eating here today and the challenge itself the pretzel buns are really good tasting actually about a minute and a half in. I like it I think we're live right now so in front of us we had a variety of their different hot dogs and then of course the two milkshakes as I mentioned. Um, these were definitely some very very large hot dogs, they were an all beef hot dog and they served them on a pretzel bun. So the pretzel bun I was very uh, curious as to what it was going to be like. Um, I, the pretzels are generally a little tougher, a little dense, but I do love the flavor and I think that's ex uh, kind of the best way to put it. Um, the buns were actually like surprisingly uh, pretty soft, um, they still definitely were a little um, you know, a little, uh, a little more texturous than uh, like a normal hot dog bun, but the flavor definitely was uh, incredibly enjoyable. And I really never, I actually never had a pretzel dog before, so this was a first. Try the smokehouse dog. Very good. <laughs> Having the different flavors of hot dogs was awesome, um, really gave a nice variety, and they definitely just had great flavors in general. Um, they definitely, uh, I can only imagine what the rest of their food items are like. Um, they also had like very well known for their items called chicken chunks, and then of course, obviously their milkshakes, um, which I very much appreciated, and uh, well, I was hoping to get to try. Jordan's doing a great job as well. 
making his way through the hot dogs and already in the milkshakes. Smart man. When it comes to their milkshakes, they do have like the regular menu flavors and then they have like a rotating one or two all the time so you can always kind of get a new something a new try something but they are like incredibly lush i mean not only again are you having obviously the shake itself but i mean you saw they're putting like literally whole um like uh I oreo ice cream sandwiches in them they're putting full cookies i mean you're talking like peanut butter and just like it is definitely uh let's say they, they, they aren't calorie free but in the best way possible Possible. So they definitely put a lot into them, uh, no pun intended, and they uh, definitely, and you, you get a lot for what it is. Um, again, the uh, all beef hot dog was just a fantastic flavor. All the hot dogs weighed uh, roughly a half a pound, a couple of them just over a, a half a pound. So when it came to hot dogs, we had, legit had six pounds itself. Shout out Ketchup, not sponsor, but if any ketchup company wants to sponsor me, I will accept. <laughs> Of course, for this challenge, we were chasing a free meal. Um, also, I will shout out, check out the I Eat Animal shirts. We got new merch and my schedule on joeleats.com um, and also on my YouTube community tab. So if you're ever wondering where I am traveling, definitely check out my Facebook page. Uh, the link is down below in the description, but it is uh, Joel Hansen Model versus Food on Facebook. Please be aware there are some fake accounts. It's pretty obvious to tell which one is real. Look for the one with all the subscribers and all the uh, seemingly real posts. And then, of course, on my YouTube community tab, if you go to my YouTube page, my channel, and click community, you'll be able to see my uh, most recent schedules up there as well. And then again, like I said, the website, joeleats.com. And so definitely uh, hope everybody is able to come on by um, to see us at our events. It's great to meet everybody. Of course, I have, um, like, you know, I, I, I sign, uh, I have, uh, you know, free pictures and cards and everything that I love to give out. Of course, we can take pictures together. And one thing I want to say is, uh, you know, if you ever see me in public, everybody, please come say hi. I love it when people do you know we'll be in the grocery store at a restaurant you know some people feel they like you are interrupting to come say hello please don't even if i'm in the middle of a video come say hi come say hello i always appreciate it i love meeting everybody and uh it just gives me such great opportunities to uh, really kind of touch base with you guys because i appreciate not only taking the time out of your day to watch my videos at home but also if you come on out i really appreciate you taking the time out of the day to do so um, but pretty much i think that's most the info i have for you today very delicious and uh, ultimately i let you to the rest of the video. Just over six minutes in. We're both doing really well. I'm down about six dogs. Roughly six. Roughly ish. George is killing it as well. Like I said, very delicious food. I'm getting on to our ones with the sloppy Joe mix on it. It is fantastic. Absolutely delectable. So let's keep on trucking. itself is really good. Uh, there's some ketchup on there again, wrapping ketchup. I also eat animals. New merch is live, joeleats.com, check that out. When you 670 came out, we got a really awesome crowd here today, so thank you everybody. dogs down. George is killing it. George has about seven left, so he's absolutely crushing it. We do about 30 minutes left. Again, this like sloppy joe dog is just so fantastic. We're definitely saving it for last. Then we still have these delicious milkshakes. Can't forget about these beasts. Look at these things. They deserve a picture. All right, let's get back to you.
about 13 minutes in. I can't get over how dang good this hot dog is. But I'm on the last dog, I understand the milkshake. George is well through his milkshakes and getting really well on the dogs. So, like I said, just keep on trucking. That's it. Let's just eat. Seconds in, got my dogs down, cleaned up all every afternoon. A lot of topics on so many fall. And that, now we're out of the shake. I saw George needing a spoon for these, so I, that means they're really thick. So let's dissect into this. So here we go, we got a cupcake. Excuse me, woo! Excuse me. Compliments to the chef. Excuse me. That's what this is. Don't stand behind me. <laughs> Look at that. That is just lovely sugar greenness. <laughs> Let's see. Here we got even a freaking ice cream cone here. Very, very delicious. I cannot speak highly enough. 
and how delicious those milkshakes were, how delicious those hot dogs were. George is just absolutely killing it here. He has 20 minutes left, 20 minutes, 25 seconds left to get through only one shake, and he's down to basically just four hot dogs. So let's keep cheering George on. He's definitely gonna come in under that 40 minute mark. George! And that, like I said, that was absolutely delicious. I can't get over enough how great those milkshakes were. So, huge thanks to Odd Father. And uh, maybe I'll have to get another shake, you know. Who knows what the future will bring, but let's cheer George on. So, thank you very much. If anybody on the live stream can hear us, thanks for tuning in. I don't know if that's brain freeze or what that is, but a little something something. In. George is absolutely killing it. Well into the four dogs, last four, and into that last milkshake as well. Give him very good well.
still drinking the milkshake, so there you go. But yeah, really good food, liked it a lot. Definitely the pretzel buns, I definitely had a bit of difficulty. They're quite dense, definitely require a lot of chewing. But I can't thank Oddfather enough here for having us out. Again, like I said, really love the food. The hot dogs were fantastic. The milkshakes were fantastic. George, which hot dog was your favorite? Ooh, uh, the smokehouse. The smokehouse? You like the smokehouse? And my favorite was the one with the sloppy Joe mix on it. Apparently that is a family sloppy Joe recipe. They call it a sloppy Joel. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But that, like I said, the milkshakes are great. They offer a lot of different cool items here. So again, huge thanks to everybody who came out. I really appreciate everybody representing Ohio. We have people from all over here, and it was absolutely fantastic. So with that, everybody, thank you so much. Until next time, of course, say happy, healthy, hungry, happy eating. If you're ever in the Toledo, Perrysburg area, etc., definitely stop on by. Check them out on social media. Those shakes are crazy. The hot dogs are great. And with that, of course, till next time, happy eating. So here we are driving from Cleveland to Perrysburg, which is basically Toledo area. So as you can see, there has definitely been a lot of green, definitely been a lot of fields. Definitely got to see a little bit of the countryside of Ohio here, which has been very pleasant, been a very nice drive. Um, it had, I mean, we've taken, obviously had some highway. This is more, a little bit off highway, obviously, a little more residential. But it's been a pleasant drive. It's, we're really thankful to see the sun. Uh, I guess we're just, entering Woodville. We're about 17 probably miles from Perrysburg and or Toledo area. Um, but yeah, seriously, very, uh, it's been beautiful. You know, it's great to see the sun out. Nice to have this drive and uh, no complaints. You know, it's a, it's a big, beautiful country. I'm thankful we get to see some of it. Oh, look, all the masks or the flags are half masked. Some must be going on or maybe maybe for Memorial Day. This is Memorial Day weekend, so it's probably actually yeah that's definitely what it is. Look at the signs we're talking about the veterans. So yeah. yeah lots of flags, lots of pride here, which is the way it should be. So let's continue to head on towards Perrysburg. And here we are in Toledo. There's a great big blue bridge here in Toledo and uh, we're kind of right by a waterway just on the other side of these uh greenery here which is pretty cool looks like there we go sneak peek yeah there you go sneak peek nice by the water here up here we got some bigger buildings coming our way Toledo and here we have more of downtown Toledo pretty cool Some more of downtown Toledo. I figured uh, we're on our way to a park, but I figured we might as well cruise through the little downtown here to say we officially saw the downtown Toledo. You know, admittingly, I don't know what I was expecting, but it is a little bit more built up than I think I was thinking Toledo was gonna be. So I don't know the population of Toledo, but somebody wants to comment it down below. I'm sure it'll be informative for us all. Here we have some sort of baseball field. I said Hens, Hensville or something along those lines, which is pretty cool. Looks like a great big old baseball stadium. Seems to be like, I don't know, I'm getting the gist that there's a quite a following or maybe baseball is very popular here in Ohio. And here is what is probably going to be the last little views of downtown Toledo, but that is an old, interesting looking building. That is for sure. I don't think that is in uh, operation right now, but yeah, actually a lot more down here than I thought, quite a bit bigger and uh, pretty cool. I like it. Lots of older buildings. I like the architecture, so downtown Toledo. Thanks Toledo, thanks Perrysburg. Appreciate you all and let's keep going going. Yeah. And last thing, here we got some kind of, I'm guessing this is a capital, state building, whatever, but very large, very huge. 
beautiful building here in Toledo. Dang nabbit cat, you're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So there, everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also, I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said, guys, hit that subscribe. Hit one of these videos. Do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.